Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? No. Are you homosexual? Yes. Heaven or hell? Probably hell, if I'm lucky, purgatory. No such thing as purgatory, it's not in the Bible. That's... I think we're all God's children, and God forgives no matter what you've done, as long as you ask for forgiveness. Now, you say we're all God's children, where do you get that from? My religion, I guess. What's Christian. your religion? Christian. Well, the Bible doesn't say that. Jesus said that you're of your father, the devil. That's what he said to the religious leaders. Yeah. He didn't say we're all God's children. What's a Christian? Somebody who believes that Christ is their savior or savior of humanity. How do you know that? I went to Catholic school for 13 years. Cole, have you been born again? I'm working on it. What does that mean to be born again? When you become a better person, when you become more self-actualized, when you realize all your flaws in the past, and then you work to be a better person. So you believe in God? I guess you could call me an agnostic. Have you been born again? No. Do you know what that means? Yeah. What does it mean? To accept Christ in your life as your uh, savior. Do you see your need to be born again? No. Okay, I've got a little scenario for you. You and I are sitting on a plane, it's a small plane. The captain says, we're gonna crash, 10,000 foot know. jump, parachute under your seat, put it on. What's your choice? If I accept the captain's word as reality, then I'll probably put the parachute on and jump out of the plane. Yeah, it comes back to your belief. If you believe the captain, you'll put the parachute on. If you don't believe, you're not gonna put it on. If you don't put it on and I'm your friend, I'm gonna lean your nose up the window and I'm gonna say, hey, Andrew, 10,000 foot jump, you jump without a parachute, you got 60 seconds before you hit the ground to think about what a dummy you were not to put a parachute on. So you haven't put the parachute on, you haven't put on the Lord Jesus Christ. So Andrew, if you'll let me, I'm gonna put your nose up to the window of eternity and see if I can encourage you to put on the Savior. Do you think you're a good person morally? I hope so. Yeah. How many lies have you told in your life? A lot. What do you call someone who's told a lot of lies? A liar. Have you ever taken something that belongs to somebody else, irrespective of its value, in your whole life? I don't think so. I'm not a thief. Yeah. Have you ever taken something, irrespective of its value? Even a ballpoint pen, anything like oh, that? Maybe that, yeah. Okay. yeah maybe. See, if you open my wallet and just take out one dollar, you're as much a thief as if you took out ten dollars. So God's not impressed with the value of that which we steal. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Are we going to go through all the ten? No, no, to four. That's all we need, Andrew. All right, all right. So you have used God's name oh, yeah. in vain. Do you love your mum? Yeah. Ever use her name as a cuss word? No, no. No, of course you wouldn't. But you've taken the name of the God who gave you a mother and gave you life and used it in place of a cuss word. That's very serious, Andrew. I would be assuming that I believe that that, or I know that that's real. I just don't know. It's called blasphemy, punishable by death in the Old Testament. You're going to say, if I believe. <laughs> But it really has got nothing to do with our beliefs. If you're in court and you've broken the law and the judge says you're going to jail, and you say, I don't believe in jails, it's not going to change realities. No problem. Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? No. Are you homosexual? Yes. Okay. Here's a summation. Cole, I'm not judging you, but you've just told me you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterer at heart and fornicator, who's self-righteous and saying you're a good person when you're not, you're like the rest of us. So if God judges you by the Ten Commandments on Judgment Day, uh -huh. you're gonna be innocent or guilty? Oh, guilty. Heaven or hell? Hell, if I'm lucky, purgatory? No, there's no such thing as purgatory, it's not in the Bible. Um, that's, well, okay. Yeah, and the Bible says all liars of their part in the lake of fire. Are you familiar with the Bible verse, the wages of sin is death? Yes. It's very famous, it's saying God is paying you in death for your sins. Like a judge looks at a criminal who's committed multiple murders, uh -huh. but he thinks he's a good person. He keeps saying, judge, I'm a good person. Mm -hmm. The judge says, I'm, I'm gonna show you how serious your crime is. I'm giving you the death sentence. This is your wages. This is what you've earned. This is what's due to you. And Cole, sin is so serious to a holy God, he's given you the death sentence. You're on death row, and your death will be evidence to you that God is deadly serious about sin. And I don't want you to go to hell. Man, I love you. I wanna make sure you're soundly yeah. saved. And you've earned your wages, lying, thieving, blasphemous, fornicating, self-righteous, adulterer at heart. So does it concern you that if you died today and God gave you justice, you'd end up in hell? It does not really concern me, I'm sorry. I actually am a very good person morally, like I always do the right things. Um, so while my actions might not be considered good or morally good in the eyes of certain contexts, uh, in the overall just kind of basic existence. I believe I've, I've done some really good things too, so. If you're in court, you're guilty of a very serious crime. Let's say you shot a, shot a guard and robbed a bank, sure. and he died, and you say, Judge, I know I'm guilty, but I want to tell you, I do some good things. The judge is going to say, what are you talking about? I'm, you're here to judge for your crime. That's how law works. Yeah. 
and it's got nothing to do with your good works. And Andrew, your good works can't save you on Judgment Day. You need the Savior. You need to sure. put on the Lord Jesus Christ. So you're a good Catholic. Collapsed. Catholic. Tell me, why did Jesus die on the cross? You've heard of that. To save our sins, save us, save us all. But what does that mean? How can that help you 2,000 years later? Uh, you know, because if God sent his only son down here to save us and we crucified him and he let us crucify him, he could have, he could have wiped us all out, right? Um, but he let us just crucify him, but he rose again. So how does that help you in your dilemma 2,000 years later? I don't believe that that... Let me share the gospel. I'm, I'm pretty with thick skulled man. This probably isn't going to no, work. No, you're not. You're an intelligent yeah. guy. And, yeah. and Andrew, if you can get a grip of this, it's going to change everything for you. The Ten Commandments are called the moral law. You and I broke the law. Jesus paid the fine. That's why he said it is finished just before he died. He was saying paid in full. Mm -hmm. If you're in court and you've got speeding fines, a judge will let you go if someone pays the fines. You'll say, you're guilty, Andrew, but you're out of here. Someone's paid your fine, and it's legal. Yeah. Well, God can legally take the death sentence off you and let you live forever because of what Jesus did on the cross and paying our fine, rising from the dead, and all you have to do to find everlasting life is repent of your sins. That's more than confessing them to a priest. You turn from sin and trust in Jesus. At the moment, you're trusting in your good works to save you. Andrew, this is a life and death issue. This is your yeah. life and death. I'm saved. I've got my parachute on. I want to see you in heaven. So, at the moment, you're trusting in your goodness. Just transfer your trust from yourself to the Savior. And the second you do that, God will remit your sins in an instant, not because you're good, but because he's good and kind and rich in mercy. Yeah, I, I just happen to think that if we all do good by each other, if you know we follow the golden rule, treat others how you would want to be treated, that uh, we wouldn't really have any problems. So you're going to flap your arms as you jump out the plane 10,000 feet. It's not going to work, Andrew. <laughs> Repent work, and trust in Jesus. Just trust in Jesus. And I you do, don't know when I you're do. going to die. You could die today, so this, that's I why see, I'm so earnest. Okay, thanks, yeah, for, thanks for listening to me. Yeah, and one more thing, sure. please examine the earnestness of my tone. Why am I talking to you like this? It's because I really do love you, and I don't want you to go to hell, so please that. consider that. Remember you said you're a good person? Yeah. Jesus said, there is none good but God. Only God is good. Only God is morally perfect. We think we're good because we judge ourselves by our standards rather we're than... We're made in God's image, though. Yeah, but we're in a fallen, we're in a fallen condition. That's, we've got an evil nature, a sinful nature. Yeah, that's true. We love to sin. We drink iniquity like water. The Bible says our eyes are full of adultery. My manager's calling me, so I gotta go. Sadly, he wouldn't even give me 30 seconds to share the gospel. He left real quick. you have a Bible at home? I do, yeah. Please dust it off and dig it out. It's God's <laughs> word. Nice to meet you, Andrew. Hang on. Two in and out cards for you. Oh, are you kidding me? No. What? Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Real quick, here are three things to help you grow in your faith. The Living Waters podcast, the Evidence Study Bible, 200 of the most commonly asked questions of the Christian faith, and much more. The Starter Kit, four of the most popular gospel tracks, available at livingwaters.com. If you haven't watched our video, Simply Amazing, you've got to watch it because it's simply amazing. You can watch it right now by clicking the video on the top.